Welcome back guys to a new video of Minecraft where today I'm going to show you my plan to destroy 4LX games. Now, I am, um, you know, 4LX games is a, is a good melee attacker, but a meh, um, you know, bow and arrow fighter or archer. Um, I am a good archer, but a meh uh, melee attacker. That's why I built this. A huge thing. So, you see how he beat me in the melee attack, like, you know, with swords and, like, just punching, like, doing that? He beat me because he's better at it. But I'm better with bows and arrows, obviously. So, um, I have built this huge little trap that can annihilate him. So... It's going to be quite hard to get in here, because I'm going to have this. Now, this is a dumb idea in the first place, because he could just turn them off, okay? He could just do that. But you know what they do? They're rapid fire. They will shoot, and there's a wall, so I can get all the arrows back. And there, there's the harming two arrows that can kill him. And another thing that I would like to mention is that this thing cannot be activated. This is, this is Forlix Games going into this. And this is me going into this. And this is Master Gamer going into it. See, you can't go in there. It's kind of impossible. But what I can say is... This is Master Gamer 7. Will you let me in? Wow. This is BS. Ha ha ha. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. Well, let's try this on this one. Master Gamer 7 is here. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I'm not dumb. I can get out. Oh, yeah, how do you get out again? Oh, yeah, I have to do this. I'm just kidding. Okay, so there's buttons down here. And I will not reveal every single secret because Forlex Games is probably gonna watch this video and be stealing all my tactics to this place. So, over here, we have a button over here, and we can see that this is basically where I shoot stuff. Suck my freaking Swedish meatballs is everywhere. This is one of my best bows. Is is basically maxed out with everything. And here... Our arrows extra ammunition if if I didn't have enough of that already so and here there's a bunch of crossbows this place is basically gonna shoot up whatever four legs games has over there and he builds pretty wild stuff so I really wouldn't count on this being able to destroy him but at least it'll do the job oh yeah I forgot to show you this place but at least it'll do the job of maintaining him so just like the other side this basically has a place with suck my freaking Swedish meatballs everywhere and here too, only this side has a crossbow. And you can see that this place is basically decked out with all of this stuff. Here is just some enchanted books, not the enchanted weapons, obviously, because I don't want 4X Games to be stealing everything because he's a thief. So, yes, this is basically my second, um, my third floor. And my fourth floor is basically a TNT cannon. Let's just open this. So, um, I did not fill this up with TNT because if I clicked any of those buttons, I could set everything off oh yeah also on the other side is just poison like on the um, third floor is poison but in here this side it has arrows of weakness now how is this supposed to work and right here is a button and it just does this and it's supposed to turn off everything it's basically like the other sides it just has this thing so yeah i should not be able to run out of bows or arrows also this one has the um I'm breaking, so it has like a longer lasting chance so like it lasts longer this one doesn't Wait, oh yeah, it does, so it has a longer chance. That's, yeah, I'm not going to run out of anything, basically. I'm going to live. I know I am. And I'm going to kill 4 Alex Games, because he isn't going to do shit. I'm going to beat him. There's no questions asked. So, yeah, this place is pretty heck. Oh, yeah, also I put some slabs, because the person who taught me how to do this was Steve Cinema. He didn't teach me, but I saw his video, and Steve Cinema's video is so awesome. It really works. I just don't want to do it, like, right now, because any of these buttons can activate this thing. Whether from the door, even from the freaking bottom, this thing is going to still be activated, which is super freaking awesome. I did it with a TNT on the bottom because I just committed suicide and tried to open it and then just TNT went flying out. So, even if I'm like at the freaking bottom, I can kill 4 likes games. So, yeah, this thing is gonna go from there to that tree over there. That's how far it can go. So, basically I have a big chance of dying. 4 likes games, I'm sorry, but you're gonna die. There's no questions about that. And the good thing is, is that I'm going to spawn all the way over here. So it's not really that far. 
So you see this thing? This thing is gonna destroy Forlex Games. Not just destroy, annihilate him. Um, so yeah, rest in peace, Forlex Games. Because this thing is a force to be reckoned with. So don't want to challenge me, right? Okay. So, yeah, this is basically my little fort thing that I built on survival, okay? This was survival. You want to know how hard this was to build? This was so freaking hard. You're not going to imagine just how hard it was to build this in survival. There are going to be the people who are going to be saying, Well, you didn't do that from survival. You did it from creative. Nope, I did not. I did it in survival. Oh, really? Then how do you explain the amount of stuff you have? How did you get all those materials and yet don't have, like, other things? Well, I would explain that later because I didn't use... <laughs> okay. I didn't create this in survival because maybe I can do it one day, but not today. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Our barn is destroyed. I thought it was going to get it. Mm -hmm. But, okay. So, yeah. This is Master Gamer 7 here. Can you open up? Yes. Nice. Authorization. So, I could blow up anytime so i can click any of these buttons like right here and forlex games is destroyed so there's only two tnt cannons and they're just up there yeah oh yeah see oh wait no this is the wrong one wait what i saw a button here why why do i have a button there i don't really care so yes forlex games you're dead that's 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 it you're just dead oh um, whoa what was i doing over here so yeah don't believe me that there's poison arrows in here. There's base those are the three arrows that I'm gonna use and some extras. It's not gonna be like you know the good ones that are gonna help him. It's gonna be like the bad ones that are gonna kill him, like slowness and um instant damage to like all those types of arrows are gonna annihilate four legs games and I'm gonna kill him once and for freaking all. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to fill my inventory with some arrows and I'm going to ask him if he, he wants to play someday tomorrow. So I can kill him. That's going to be epic. I just can't see the look on his face when he dies. Because he always dies. Okay. Well, not really. But it's... Yeah. So I agree. He agreed. And we're going to attack each other. And you can see that this place is pretty much epic. It's basically like a house. Only there's no bed. So... What's the point? I live in here. So it's gonna be like the last time we fought. It's gonna be at least three lives, and then you're dead. Only this time I'm not gonna be generous, cause he called me a fucking failure. Why he was? Cause he had a point. But yes, this place also has the same thing. So if he expects one of them to not work, they're symmetrical. If they work, they freaking work. Just like the dispensers built below. They're symmetrical. They're gonna work. So, see? They work. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, yeah, they work. So, Forlex Games is about to die. And I'll not show you how I did all this. Because he's just gonna copy me. Because sometimes he does, and sometimes I do too. We get our ideas from each other, okay? Let's, not, let's just not be that way. So, yes. Forlex. Or speaking quack. You're dead. You're not going to survive. Also, you might have, a, like, a dumb TNT trap. Because mine is more sophisticated. Mine is going to shoot, like, over there. His just... He just made his bow up. And he blew up half his fort with it. So, he has dumb developing ideas. Oh, yeah. That's why it didn't work last time. Because I didn't turn up with this. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. There's, like, a lot of buttons. So, there's five floors. This is the fifth floor. If... I turn this off, then the first floor won't work, and the first floor can work. Just depends, because each one, de um, each one depends, because this one can, if it's at the far moment, then it could throw all the way to that tree, you know, that first tree right there, like, that's right there, like, this one where the circle is, okay, that's right there. This one also, so yeah, that, that's how far they can throw, he might make us farther, but I, if he does, well, I'm gonna put, you know, a pressure plate, because that's gonna make it shoot farther. So you want to know where? To where the trees end. And if it mixes it into the ocean, well, that's unfair because it can't make it into the ocean. Yeah, so either way, Forlex Games is doomed. Okay, Speaking Quack is going to die. So are these. So, yeah, the fourth floor won't work. Yeah, so basically, this is sophisticated thinking right here. You don't really think of this every single day. You think of better stuff. So this is the future. Forlex Games is not the future. What he has is the past. 
Well, what, what, what is it? It's man, this is the future. Okay, I'm scared to hear this, Master Gamer. Can you please let me in? Sure. No, we're gonna let you outside. Thanks. Okay. Everything in this works except the, the front dispensers. So if he's gonna try to get in, he was if he's gonna get in anyways. Oh my god, this is also bad engineering because he could just do that and just escape the freaking things. And he's gonna go inside and take all of the arrows. <sighs> I don't want that to happen, so I have to think of another way. Or if he really doesn't want to, he can just do that. So this is a bad idea at the same time. So I really wouldn't really want it to happen. But what I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to have to put cobblestone or any bedrock. Any kind of thing so he won't come in. Or I won't come in. Um. Also, yeah, I put some buttons inside the thing. So I can either deactivate them or just turn it on. So, there's no way he's gonna be able to come in because I can deactivate the dispensers and he can't because I have secret buttons put in and put, um, anywhere. They could be underground or anything, so, yes. Don't really bet on it. So, Flex Games is gonna die. That's, that's it. He's just gonna have to die. Isn't that what we want? So, yeah, guys. Um, what do you think? Do you think I'll win? Do you think I'll lose? Just comment below if you think I'll win. Because I think I'm going to win. Because I usually don't think that. But I think I will. Because this is basically the future. I'm going to annihilate. It's like a prison. You're, it's kind of hard to get into without a pickaxe. This one is also maxed out. It has the only the best things that it can even have. This one as well just doesn't have as much. Because I maxed it out. This arrow is, I mean, this bow and crossbow, or suck my freaking Swedish meatballs, is gonna annihilate for Alex Games. Ha! Bye bye, speaking quad, because um, someday you're gonna die in this game, in this world. <laughs>